take a moment to talk about your boy. So, Kevin Samuels died. And some people didn't like my response to this. So let me let me let me give you the full story. So, number one, let me just put it out there. If you watch my content, I'm surprised you also watch Kevin Samuels, to be honest with you. Um, I don't mind. I want people from his audience to find and appreciate my type of content because I, I, I find his content awful. Um, but I was surprised to have so many people that like genuinely like me also clearly genuinely like Kevin Samuels. And I had to sit with that for a second because I was ready to just, to just go in. And it just so happens it's crazy how like, you know, um, uh, I don't know, uh, Destiny might have it for me in that like literally I was writing a Kevin Samuel, I'm not, I'm writing a video on the Manosphere, it should be out the week after next. And he has a section in that, that video. And so I spent the whole week writing that section and researching his content and just being like, oh, I can't stand this nigga. Ugh. But just, you know, writing. And then like literally I just, I, I go for a ride, I pick up my phone and it's like Kevin Samuels is thought to be dead. I'm like, whatever. But then as the night goes on, it's like, whoa, this is looking real. And so when I, when it become like, when it becomes clear, even though I hadn't been fully official, when it became clear that he did pass, I was like, look, he gonna get the same energy that Herman Cain got from me when he passed. If Candace Owens dies next week, she gonna get the same energy. If Clarence Thomas dies, same energy. I, I, people weren't, people weren't ready for that, I guess. And so I, then I had to sit and like reevaluate, like, what, what was Kevin Samuels doing that people who are not just outright misogynists or just there for the lulls really connected to him? Like, what was he doing? And I asked and I had some side conversations with some people. Um, and yeah, I know I'm going to get a bunch of video responses uh, from Man of Spirit folks. I, I got an I've been preached section in there. I'm pretty sure they're going to respond. Um, I'm, it's already so many, you know, folks that like really want my attention uh, on the left. So it's like, I'm sure there's going to be some, some, some streams that react to the video. You know, I'm doing my best. And yes, he is a lot like Jordan Peterson. And so I just had to kind of like sit there and be like, okay, what's the best way to engage with this? Because I don't want to, I don't like the idea of like just dragging people for liking a bad thing. Does that make sense? Like, I, like, especially if they're like sincerely also a fan of my content, I'm like, okay, like, what did you see? And the thing I had to realize was that like, and it, it made me kind of sad. It's like, I think a lot of black men and um, younger black men especially are so hard up for productive ma black masculine images that they'll take anything They'll take anything, even a dude that was like so very clearly a fraud. And like, it hurts my soul to have to like, I, so I wrote, I recorded it yesterday or the day before yesterday. And it's so, I'm so, it's so funny. I told myself, I wrote, a, I wrote, I wrote the script up and I said, okay, let me try to write with empathy. Y'all know I love my empathy. Like, so I'm like, I'm writing, I'm like, look, I understand and this, no, 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 no. it's a couple of jabs in there, but you know, tried, I tried to get through it. And then like, as I'm reading my script, I always ad lib a little bit. I started ad libbing and I went in on this nigga. <laughs> and I went in on his fan base. I said all kinds of bitch ass niggas and punk ass, you know, weak motherfuckers. Like I, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm glad I get to edit this out. <laughs> Cause it's like, it really frustrates me. It really frustrates me. And what I realized is the frustration isn't really even aimed at Samuels specifically. It's aimed at like what he represents, which is this like consumable massage noir. But yeah, somebody just says a good point right there. Strong men don't require weak women, weak men do. 
like as I as I was doing manosphere research, right? Like to me, the manosphere is like a spectrum. Like there's some stuff in the manosphere that's not like overtly toxic. It's just here are ways for you to be better at masculine things. Here's a better workout. Here's a better fashion. That's what that's what Samuel started out as. Samuel started out as a um a fashion and lifestyle uh, content creator. But then as it goes down the line, especially as you get bigger and more lucrative, there's whole channels where they're not even really like the channel is only here is a dumb thing a woman did. That's that's the title. Like there's some dude. Um, I was talking to T Noir and there's some dude named uh, Alaudi. And I looked at his channel and like these are the titles from the videos at the top of his channel. Women get rejected by men because of this. When entitled women get humbled, six. When modern women are delusional, four. Men stop simping for women, 14. Women getting rejected by men, six. So it's literally just a channel full of fails for women. And it's like, don't get me wrong. Funny shit is funny, right? But if your whole like content bag is dedicated to showing the bad things from a very specific group, then it's clear what you're doing, right? And that's, and that's for every, any type of content. If you're, if every single last one of your videos is look what Ben Shapiro did. If every single last one of your videos is look what Vosh did. If every single last one of your videos is look what, you know, insert stupid thing here. Like your, I, I don't, I'm never going to watch that personally. I'm never gonna watch that. Even if even if I agree with your overall take, I'm not interested in that type of pandering, low vibration content. But the easiest lane for that is bashing and embarrassing and making content like that about women, especially black women. And so there's a clip that started circulating about Samuels where he said out loud, and this is like years ago, he's in a car and he looks very different. If you see whole pictures of him, he looks very different. I got a good joke about that. Um, I don't think he was closeted. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like attacking Samuels. I don't know if that's what you were doing, but I don't like attacking Samuels based on uh, a perceived difference in how he performs masculinity and calling that gay. I'm not with that. I'm not with people calling him kitten heels or whatever the fuck. I'm not, I'm not with that shit. That's that's the other side of the spectrum. You can call him awful on so many other levels without being homophobic. And that's some shit I'm going to get into this Manosphere video, by the way. That the Manosphere exists for a reason. And we need to better engage with that on the left or whatever. That the Manosphere exists for a valid reason. And we don't do a good job of addressing the needs that the manosphere is filling for a certain portion of uh, of the population that watches it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just the truth. And so the fact that, you know, as soon as, as a black man, no shade, sisters, you know I love y'all, but as soon as I piss off the wrong woman, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be, is a pussy ass, bitch ass nigga with a little dick, that's secretly gay and all these other things. It's, it happens so quick. With the Bell Hooks book in your hands. <laughs> Bell Hooks in one hand, calling calling dudes, calling straight dudes gay as the insult in the other. I've seen it. So there's a conversation to have there, but that's not what he was doing. But he gave dudes that feeling. Like he, made, he gave dudes that had uh, a bone to pick with women this like vicarious sense of power. And, you know, even though a lot of his audience was, uh, was women, um, and surely there's a portion of his audience that wanted fashion tips and motivation to level up their work life and stuff like that. Like I get that, but he, he is, I'm talking about him right now because he embarrassed black women. Like literally he went viral for a video where he gave a black woman really no advice and basically just berated her for 20 minutes and like motherfuckers ate that up. It's, it's hard for me to digest watching him seriously. 
um, it, it's hard for me to uh, process how like sensible people could watch his content and not recognize what he's doing. And I get deeper, like the video goes into all of this shit. The video goes into all of this shit, but I wanted to get something out there um, now to first like be under, to put out there that I, for those of you who for whatever reason, like truly felt a sense of loss at his passing because he represented a masculine figure that, that did something for you. I empathize with that sense of loss, but uh, I'm sorry. I tried. I, 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 I asked many of questions. I had side conversations. I watched way more of his videos than I wanted to. And the best advice he gave was to work really hard and put on deodorant and wear cologne. <laughs> like, like, this dude had no profound insights that you couldn't have got from anywhere else without the misogynoir. And that's proof in the fact that he had no presence on YouTube when he was just doing advice that wasn't misogynistic. When he was doing normal advice that wasn't misogynistic, he did not have a million subscribers. He didn't. Jordan Peterson was not significant until he attended a fascist anti-trans rally in Canada. You know, and I understand like, I understand that there's there are lanes in which there's there's so much to unpack there and like how we socialize black boys and black men and there's a lot of black men that went through things that make them bitter and I, I empathize with all of that but that don't give a pass to him calling 35 year old black women leftovers let alone like the other shit that hasn't even hit like some of the shit I found I'm like how did this dude how did y'all watch this dude how? <sighs> so yeah, so I just want I want to just get that out.